Hi, it's Judith from JV Art Resources and thanks for watching today. Today I am doing a review on the wonderful Karen Hull's tutorials. She has many, many, many to choose from from her website. She has about 40, I think, maybe even more by now. And there are different pencils, watercolor, regular pencils, uh, different surfaces, map board, film, uh, regular surfaces. So you find the tutorial with, um, what, let's say, what you want to work on. and. Uh, you get that tutorial, it's very inexpensive, and then you have your lesson right there. Work at home, at your own speed. When you get that, move on to the next one, and you really only need a few tutorials before you really know what you're doing, and that's what I did. After 30 years of doing watercolor and all kinds of other artwork, I picked up pencils and I was really surprised how difficult it was. It's not just pencil and paper. Um, there's more to it than that, and the combinations of pencil and surface is really going to give you a different result and really might be tricky so um, you need a guide and I think of these tutorials as guides and uh, they're really wonderful so uh, I'll show you a couple of them that are my favorites and uh, yeah you should uh, I definitely would pick up a couple and you can learn a lot so I want to start off by just showing you um, Karen has a colored pencil basic booklet and you can pick this up on her website. Everything here you'll be able to find on her website and I will post the link in the video notes below along with some of the tutorials I'm going to show you as well. So I'll link you up to those too. So this booklet is wonderful and I love the little picture on the front there. I actually think there's a tutorial on how to do that now. But in here you will find information on pencils, surfaces, um, different types of solutions and there's just so much more in here and um, that it's a really great book if you are the ultimate beginner and you don't know where to begin start with that okay and now also uh, just to show you when you go to her website um, there's about 40 of these all different tutorial kits that she has and um, you can see it's uh, quite a range so uh, check out her website and you'll be able to find all these there. Now I um, want to show you something here. This is the blue-eyed cat. This was done on drafting film. This was the first time that I've done an animal in colored pencil or on drafting film. And that's a wonderful kit that she has. Um, I don't have the cover page on that right now, but this is what you would get. You would. This is the drawing that you wind up with. You get your reference photo. Uh, you also get the original photo right here. As you could see, that's how that cat was created and you get a wonderful line drawing as well. All of these tutorials are like this. Here is your line drawing. So once you transfer that over to your paper, this one is on drafting film, but I know you can do that on other surfaces as well once you you know master the drafting film. So, and that's what you wind up with. I mean, it's the instruction is so easy to follow that you can't mess it up and it's just really great. So um, here's one more thing I just want to show you. This is um, a graphite cat. I just recently started to do this from her graphite tutorial. And there it is. It needs a little work. I'm still working on it and I'm not very good at graphite. That's uh, most artists start with graphite and I've been doing everything but I'm first now learning about graphite. So where did I turn to? Karen Hall's wonderful tutorials. So they're really great. This one has um, a photo reference, your drawing and your, your line drawing, and then inside it just takes you through step by step everything that you need. All the information is here. I wanted to find something a little bit... <coughs> oh, yes, here is your your line drawing and just how it all, you know, it just goes one step at a time. Now, <coughs> Excuse me. I have um, some other tutorials I want to show you. This one is my latest favorite. This is watercolor pencil on film, I believe. And again, if you're experienced uh, with colored pencil, you can probably change your surface up. But that is just adorable, and I love this. And then as we go through her list, this is another one of my favorites that I want to do. This is the Rainbow Prince, and this is a realism. This is great because you take a look at your original drawing. That's what he was created from. And she just turned it into this beautiful, magical drawing of rainbow colors. And that's a, a wonderful technique with watercolor pencil. Here is something else. Um, again, the beautiful rainbow technique. Now this is colored pencil on a piece of wood. Uh, with watercolor, colored pencil water, plus watercolor pencils on wood. And then no different than any other tutorial. 
get your references and your original, you know, your photos, your line drawings, your material list. Here it is, all the materials required. And then step by step, how to do it, right here. Little by little, you could work on it of course, uh, over the course of a couple of weeks or just over a weekend at your own pace. And um, it's very in-depth. You see here all the information and you wind up with that. Another one of my favorites. And the, here is a uh, color pencil on black matte board. Yes, that's right, matte board. <laughs> Some people always think that can't be regular map board, but it can be, and uh, this will show you how. Now, something else that I hear all the time, um, people like to draw their dogs, and people have white dogs. Many people have white dogs. Here is a tutorial on how to do color pencil with a white dog. And then, one of my very first tutorials that I've ever done in color pencil, uh, before I even knew her, this is this beautiful rainbow lorikeet with markers and colored pencil. The markers are a bit of color blocking underneath and then you have the colored pencil on top for the detail and it is the most beautiful vibrant bird and a really wonderful tutorial. This was my first one from Karen ever and I loved it. It's a really good one. <clears throat> now uh, one more. This is um, Peacock with colored pencil and markers again. And I believe this one is uh, gives you instructions on different surfaces, so you get to choose what surface you want to work on. So that's kind of nice. Um, I have this uh, Draw Portraits book up here, just to show you, because um, that's Karen's work on the front. So she does dark skin, and she does um, older skin, and blurry backgrounds. There's the white dog again. Here's another one with a blurry background on drafting film. That's just like a total 3D image. It's amazing. So um, I would definitely check out her website and pick up a couple of tutorials and you're going to really learn a lot. Now there's another one or two things I want to show you uh, for something different. Uh, this is a tutorial with ballpoint pen. And I was really thinking of trying that one because I have a lot of pens. And scratch board. Now this would require you to either make or buy some scratch board and I picked up this panel. I haven't done it yet as you can see because uh, it's still got the wrapper on it but this is a scratch board panel and then you could pick up some tools. The tools are, are very inexpensive. You can get a kit for a few dollars and it has some um, scratch board tools in it and the panel and then uh, this will show you everything you need to to learn to scratch that out. And then finally this is um, a craftsy class that Karen taught this is a portrait of Katie. I'm sorry I don't have the cover, but you can see her beautiful intense eyes. And I haven't finished that yet, but I just want to show you um, with the details and all of her instruction, that is amazing eye. I still look at it and can't believe I did that because I'm not much of a human portrait uh, artist as much as I am animals. So uh, to be able to create the skin tone around the eye and to make the eye look so realistic was really amazing and uh, I can't wait to get back to this someday. So um, you could see there is just so many to choose from. It would take me uh, over an hour to go through all of them. So that's just a little bit of my favorites and you can check out the others on her website. I hope you found this very useful. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for watching today and uh, checking out all these wonderful tutorials. Uh, pick one or two. Like I said, they're not expensive. You're going to learn an awful lot. And um, yeah, you'll just really be able to see how further along you can get in your colored pencil artwork. Just after one tutorial. It's kind of amazing. So um, thank you, Karen, for uh, creating these beautiful works of art. Thank you all for watching so much. Please hit that subscribe button. If you uh, like this video, please like and share. And I'll see you next time.